Hey everyone, this is Scott Clement with Profound Logic Software. I wanted to show you something that I think is really useful about our Genie tool. So Genie is part of the Profound UI modernization suite. Um, and what Genie does, and, and we've, we've demonstrated this in more detail in some of the other videos on this channel, um, but what Genie does is it takes a, a 5250 screen or a green screen and converts it on the fly into a web page. Um, so what we're looking at right now is just the standard IBM main menu. You've probably seen that on the IBM I before. Um, but Genie is automatically converting it into a web page and showing it in uh, a browser. Um, in some of the other videos, now, now kind of switching gears, this is not part of Genie. This is one of the other tools in Profound UI called the Rich Display Module. We have a visual designer that can create graphical applications. And the advantage to that is it can go above and beyond uh, what's available in 5250. Um, this is just a simple example. I created a quick Hello World program, um, but this is actually still an RPG program and it's still running on the IBM I. So if I were to run that, and you can see in this tab of the browser, um, this browser is doing a call to the RPG program. The RPG program does execute format, which brings up that graphical display entirely outside of the 5250 environment. It's running directly in a web browser without any graphical uh, environment going on okay but the feature that I want to show you what I think is really really cool is that Genie can do both so it can do a 5250 screen like this IBM menu or if I run that RPG program just the standard call command it can bring up that graphical application even though it's running in the 5250 session when I what happens is Genie recognizes that that program is displaying a web page and it switches modes and it shows the web page or the rich display file as we call it. When I exit that, it switches modes back and it goes back to the 5250 screen. So why is that useful in a business application? Why is that helpful in modernization? Well, let's take a real example. This is a business application for order entry. And you go here and you enter a customer number, you enter uh, an order number, and you can make changes to that order. If you leave the order number blank, you can create a new order. Um, the, the order screens are, are very detailed. There's 10 different screens. There's a lot of business logic behind it, business logic to calculate prices, um, to make sure that we have enough stock to fulfill the orders, um, and, and lots and lots of business logic. And I don't want to go into all of it. Um, but not only that, um, users spent a lot of time in this screen, so a lot of extra things are kind of added in to put them at users' fingertips so they don't have to exit out and go into another program. They can hit F4 to display customer list. Uh, they can F5 to display customer payment history. Customer open orders is F6. Customer order history is F7. We got payment details at F11. Um, we're even calling out to the IBM work with spool files command down here if you press F23. Um, so th there's a lot of stuff that are, that are calling out to other programs in addition to uh, screens within this program. So there's a lot to this. Now, if you wanted to completely redo this using the rich display tool so that you had a nice, beautiful graphical environment, um, you know, that would be very valuable, but it would take a long time. Um, and and it, what we have found works the best is to do one screen at a time. Find one screen that, that customers uh, can really benefit from, or one, one program, I should say, rather than one screen, uh, that customers could really benefit from the graphical environment and do that and then and put it into production, get feedback from the users, and you learn from that so that your next project is better and better. And also, so you don't have to like do this sort of big bang where you do everything at once, which can be just an overwhelming pro project. So in this application, the one where you really see benefit from modernization is this order history, customer order history. So I enter customer number, hit, it, hit F7, and we see this order history screen. And what it's doing here is it's showing multiple years of, of customers' order sales. Um, but because of the limitations of the green screen, there's only so much space, it could not fit all 12 months of a year across the screen. It could only fit six. So what it did is it used two rows. The top row is January through June, and then the row be below that is uh, July through uh, December. So here, like for 2018, of course, July through December, 
just based on the time I'm recording this, they haven't been posted yet, so the data's not there. But you'll see it in like 2017, you'll see both uh, all, all 12 months posted. The problem with that is it's really kind of hard to read with it being staggered half of the year on one line and half of the year on the other. It, it's just really kind of ugly. Plus, having this sort of month-by-month -month customer details is a natural candidate for putting it in a chart, putting it in a graphical chart. Um, so, so this is a great uh, example of something that would be modernized, but modernizing this entire application, you know, with all of its screens and all of its features would take a long time. Um, and so what makes sense is to do one piece at a time um, so you can get that out and get the feedback and, and, and so forth, as I mentioned before. So, of course, Genie displays 5250 screens, converts them on the fly. Um, so this application with, with zero changes at all, this application will work right away in Genie. I don't have to make any changes, but you'll see, you know, with, with a few small changes, it's basically the same thing that you had in the green screen. So yeah, it's running in a browser. Um, and if I hit F7 to go to that order history, you can see that that's now running in a browser, but it's still the same application, right? It's still um, showing that two line thing that, I, that we didn't like um, where it could uh, really benefit from from uh, modernizing, from redoing it using our graphical environment. Um, but another quirk to this, another uh, twist, if you will, is this does have the ability, because uh, jobs sometimes, users submit jobs, and they, they need to be able to check on their submitted jobs. It has a work with user jobs uh, option, which actually calls the IBM command work with user jobs. So uh, this is the regular IBM command, and it's just running it. Um, you don't have the source code for this. This is an IBM tool. So yeah, this runs in Genie because Genie takes the green screen that IBM is outputting and converts it on the fly. But this work with user jobs thing doesn't, you know, it doesn't uh, exist in the graphical environment. You'd have to write that from the ground up, which would be a hassle. So again, as I said at the beginning of this, Genie allows you to display both. I can take the time and modernize a screen, and I've done that for that order history. If I call that, I'm just going to call this, I'm just, I have a different version, it's the same program, um, but I've just, I've just, I've modernized that one call. So if I type this 4000, I hit F7, it's doing a call to an RPG program, but now it's calling that one that I've modernized, I've taken it and made it into a graphical screen so that now all those all of those years are still displayed up here. This is still a subfile. It, the RPG program is actually doing exactly the same thing. It's filling in the fields and writing subfile records and doing execute format. Um, but now I've made it so that you can scroll right and left and you can show all 12 months on one line. I've also done some other things like replace the option with little uh, graphical buttons and things like that, which, which is really nice um, for the user. Um, and then the other big thing I've done, of course, is I've added this, this line chart uh, that shows the customer uh, sales history uh, in a graphical format, which is really nice to read. And you can point to the different things and it tells you which year it is and it tells you, you know, what the data is at that point. Um, so, so this is a much better display from the user's perspective. But the cool thing is I didn't have to modernize the whole thing. It's still running from the original order entry program. The original order entry program is still running in green screen. So this is really powerful. I can do one piece at a time. And that's really powerful because you can get, you know, you can divide your task, your modernization project into smaller pieces and do one piece at a time. The other way that this is useful is when you don't have the source code for things. So I was showing you that work with user jobs in the green screen. It goes out to the IBM work with user jobs command. Well, Genie will detect that it's a 5250 screen in switch mode. So even though this is a graphical program right now that it actually isn't using 5250 at all, which is how we're able to go, you know, above and beyond what the green screen can do. But when I click with work with user jobs, it switches modes and it shows that IBM 5250 screen. And when I exit, it switches modes back and shows the graphical screen. When I exit this one, it switches modes back again and goes back to the 5250 screen. So it's really powerful because I can do one piece at a time. 
Um, and then, of course, when I'm done with that and that working really well for the users, I can work on the next piece. So maybe I would want to modernize this screen next or something like that. Um, so little by little, I can work my way into making a modern graphical application. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.